Okay, from the, the noise of the last 310 brake horsepower car we're looking at, we, we silently move over to the electric section. And we've got a, a few electric cars in today. And one of them has just been up at Test Hill. And we're hopefully going to chat to the driver of it. Okay, and we've got the car that has just been up the Test Hill. And the driver is Andrew. Was that good fun? Yes, great fun, yes, yes. I did it last year as well. I think last year was the first electric Mini to go up the hill. And uh, so, that, yeah, it's great fun. As long as you have the traction turned off. Okay, do you have to do something special then Just to, to do that? Just a bogging down when it feels the wheel spin. It's a bit muddy and gravelly at the bottom. And uh, it will kill the power if the traction control is normal. So you have to turn that off and then it can get a bit of wheel spin. And right, so you take the traction through. control off and then yes. it just, should just go up fine That's if right, it wheel yeah. spins yeah. down there. Yes. Okay, obviously your electric Mini. Yes, yes um, I'm the, I I'm run the uh, Mini Electric Facebook, UK Facebook group. All right, okay. And this, this lot are all members of the... So are all these electric Minis that yes. we can see here today? So we've got this, one, two, three, four, seven five, six, others, yes. six, seven of There's you. one more just coming in now. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I, I run the Facebook group and... Uh, moderate it and admin right. or whatever they yeah, call it. We've got a few members on there now. We've got um, 1,500, I think. Really? That's not bad, is it? Yes. They These haven't days. all got cars yet. But yeah. They've got them on all. People that are looking to get them. Yes. Okay, we've got one coming in behind us. Yes, I had a BMW i3 before, which has a lot of the mechanicals are the same. The mm. motor and control equipment is the same. But the Mini is so different to drive it so much more fun to drive right so very similar underneath are they to the, well, not the, under the, the i3 no, no, or the, the mini's front wheel drive and the i3 is rear wheel drive right but it's got the same electric motor and okay. control equipment and a lot of the interface is the same as you set things and so on but despite having some commonality they're totally different cars totally to drive. different to drive absolutely completely different yes yeah so yes. the mini you think is better oh my it's better, yeah yes. much better driver's yes. car Oh, much more of a driver's car, yeah. yes. yes. I mean, the i3 goes very well, handles fairly well, but the Mini just, it's a different car altogether. Mini's yeah, got absolutely. the enthusiasm. It wants you to drive mm. it fast. It wants you to enjoy it. The i3 reluctantly performs. Right. So with, with the electric Mini now, are they all the same battery packs? Have they yes. got different variations now? Or? Not on battery. They've all got the same battery the pack. Same. They've all got the same the motor. They are 34 kilowatt hour. 34 kilowatts. Um, with um, official range of 145, and every day, summer or winter range of 100. Right. And quite a lot more when the weather warms up. Yeah, yeah, and that's plenty really for the use that you. Oh you yes, put it to. yes, yes. I, mean, I do occasionally need to public charge, but with good planning, that's never been a problem. I haven't. Yeah. Heard. A lot of people make a fuss about how difficult it is, but it just isn't if you plan. But you can't treat it like a petrol car and just stop when the no. when the warning so light I comes think, on. So you that, have that to is plan the secret. It. If you're going on a journey in Absolutely. one of these now, yeah. you do have to plan where you're going to charge it up, basically yes, on the yes. And you have to have a plan B as well. Right. Because What's plan B? <laughs> plan B is when the plan A charger doesn't work or is a big queue for it or something. Right. You have an alternative in mind and you stop and charge earlier than you actually need to. Right. So that you, you don't not w- concerned about it. So yeah. although it'll do 100 miles, I'll probably typically stop at 80, 85 miles right. so that you've got plenty in hand mm. so you don't have to worry about it. But you do plan... So I always plan my routes using ZapMap or something. Look at the charges, ch- choose ones that you know are re- generally reliable, yeah. and it's just no problem at yeah. all. And of course you charge at home most oh, yes, of the time yes, anyway. Yes. It's only one, when you're going on the 1.2 journey. pence a mile it costs yeah. me at the moment. <clears throat> it's not bad, is it? Particularly with the fuel prices these yes, days. exactly. <laughs> the electricity's going up soon. Mine's, mine will be going okay. up later in the year. Uh, can you show us around the car? Oh, certainly. Yes. Um, Probably this not many people is, have seen these. This is the the level three one, which is the top one, but it's the previous generation. They've now changed the styling slightly. All right. So the, the, this one next to you is that's the, the more modern version, version, is yes, it? But I don't know what so what, what year is your one? 
2020, just 2020. In, three days before the lockdown. Oh, right, OK. Us. And this one next to us is a 21? Well, late, late 21. Late 21. Or, or, yeah, mid to late 21, mm. they changed to this styling at the front. This has got the so, fog yeah. lights down here. And this has got a slot and that's on got the a front, slot, isn't it? And yeah. the, the fog lights are built into the headlights around on those. All oh, right, OK. So this is the active matrix lights, which form a, a light pattern as you drive along so that you don't dazzle other cars, but it also lights up the hedges. So if you come up behind another car, it'll cut the light off under their back window, but still light up both sides so you can see very well. Very, very clever lights. I think that's the thing with electric cars. They do have so many yeah, um, I mean, gadgets, not, for yeah, want of a better I mean, word. You can get them on stand minis now, but yeah. um, that's where they usually start. Okay. This one's got the original 13-amp socket wheels, which attracted okay. me to the car when I saw it at Goodwood festival of speed when it was a concept oh yeah i've, I've just seen what you mean there with the three holes it's like a, like a british 13 amp socket i've never realized that on these and a lot of people don't <laughs> it caught my eye immediately yeah. when i saw them you've got the little wow, e-badges here good. this yellow is is the feature only of the electrics uh anybody can have yellow mirrors and these wheels right and we've got a faded top oh well, that that was um, something i had done because you the concept yourself, car right? at goodwood had a faded roof like this and it right. was in this colour so I wanted it all to get mine as close as I could without major stuff okay. so did, did they do that? the, the, the dealer organised it for me that? yeah not the factory no, the, the dealer. De- dealership. Uh, I wouldn't have had a car with a sunroof but to get the matrix lights and the head up display um, you had to have you're sunroof stuck as well. with the sunroof <laughs> so it doesn't look as nice as it would if it was that I, I yeah. never open sunroofs so I don't see the point in them for me so I mean so I but don't. it is a full length sunroof this one well this one goes right back and that one tilts so that tilts that doesn't slide back right hit the aerial so this slides back this underneath slides right that one back on top of yeah. that one on top, on top uh, of it on top I think okay I'm not sure can't remember I don't know right. it, so I... <laughs> <laughs> never use it okay shall we have a look inside uh, this one is as I said, it was the level three version. Is that going to... Yes, that's going to well, that should be, um, That'd be all right. But I had the seats changed because I don't like leather. OK. So I've got the standard mini sports seats, mm-hmm. which were swapped out for me. Right. Otherwise, the interior is standard of its day. The, the later ones have got a slightly different display in the center, central display, um, which it lights yeah. up quite nicely. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. We're powered so up. The later ones have the the oval dash, which has now become standard on minis, but it was first out on the electric. And the, and the thing that's popped up there is that that's a the head-up head display. display. Yes, I had that on a previous car, my wife's car, and I think they're such a wonderful safety and convenience. You can't really see the display unless you're sitting in the driver's seat. Right. But it shows you speed, navigation, directions. Um, cruise control settings, radio stations when you want to change them, uh, phone messages and so on can all come up in there. You can choose what you want on it. And then you've got the navigation on the nice on the round, central round style. The traditional round central, yes. well, it's Speedo in the original minis, That's wasn't right. it? But yes, in this yes. one, it's your digital display. Yes, well, it was in my 1968 mini. Mm. And in fact, we had a 1962 mini at one time. So yes, very much the mini style and mini, the mini way. That's great. And so we've got no engine in the front. So what? Yeah, what do we have in the front? Oh, this is a. Flap. This is your charge it's flap. In exactly the same place as the standard petrol cap, and you just remove this cap for charging at home. I've got a seven kilowatt charger. Simple plug it in, lock the car, and it charges up, or it charges up on off peak yeah. electricity. And then if you're on the motorway or out and about and you need to rapid charge, you take this one out as well. And then you so have you've got a, a rapid charge option plug, in there. Yeah. And that plugs the charges up on the bottom two pins on DC. Whereas this is AC, the top one. I'd imagine you don't really use that that often unless you're out on a journey somewhere. No, but when you are on a journey, the, 
you would never use the seven kilowatt unless you were really desperate because it's very slow. <clears throat> it, on the seven kilowatt one, it charges up at about 25 miles an hour, we call it. So right. you gain 25 miles of range for an hour of, for charge. an hour of charging, mm -hmm. which is perfect for home. Um, and on the the DC charger, it's um, about 200 miles an hour, I think. <clears throat> But you don't obviously charge it for that long because the range is only 100 anyway, yeah. or thereabouts. So the the battery pack in this is underneath the floor or the in the back? Pack is where the fuel tank would have been because it's completely standard shell, same as a petrol mini. Right. So there's no modification on the actual body shell. It's only to physically hold stuff. Right. So the body shell is the same. It rides about an inch higher. So they've disguised that with bigger, these um, oh, yeah. wheel trims are slightly bigger, so it doesn't look as though it's riding right. higher. So it's slightly higher than the, the petrol models of the same year. So the petrol tank isn't there, so that's filled up with batteries. And the exhaust isn't there, so the tunnel is filled with batteries. So you've right. got T-shape. So got a T-shape. T-shape. Across here. Across and under the back the seat and down, down the middle with batteries, okay. which is why they're is, limited. Is this four-wheel drive? Or no, no, two-wheel two, drive. It's a two-wheel drive on yeah. the front? Yep. 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 And the electric motor and the inverter and stuff is under the bonnet. Can we see under yeah, the bonnet? Yeah. yeah. The boot is exactly the same as the petrol ones. So there's no, no change in here, this part at all? Completely the same. So you've got the storage underneath where you put the cables. That's where you've got your cables and everything. So this is the charger you use if you just want to plug in to batch the wheels to plug into an ordinary 13 amp socket that charges up at about 10 miles an hour and then the big cable you can use either at home or when you're out and about for the 25 miles an hour um, but all the rapid chargers have the cable connected to them because they are really big right. cables <clears throat> so that's exactly the same as a petrol mini no difference at all all that's unchanged you can't see or feel or note where the batteries no. are at all so i mean most of the interior is the same as an ordinary yes mini. yes yeah in fact now the ordinary minis have got the digital dashboard right they're even more alike now yeah yeah we were just looking at one bit <clears> earlier so the only difference here is that it hasn't got the leather seats right so they may be different shapes I'm not sure. lovely It's not very exciting because it's no. covered in plastic. <laughs> well, as they tend to be these days. Okay, so we'll go around the front. We'll have a look under here, which will probably have a big plastic cover on. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> so the, the electric motor is right down underneath. You can't see that at all. And what they've done is they've built this very strong frame to mount everything in so it picks up on the original mounting points um, for the petrol cars in some ways probably adapting brackets these brackets are probably different but that's right. how they've done it and on top here is the inverter which Electric does inverter. the variable speed drive for the electric motor the motor's ac but you've got dc from the battery so the inverter varies the voltage and frequency to vary the speed and power output for the motor otherwise it's the, the battery the 12 volt battery you still have is down in the same place i think as the petrol mini so we've got inverter on top yes one electric motor one underneath. electric motor down there transversely mounted and then they power the, the two front wheels yes fairly simple very simple yes mm -hmm. much more torque than the petrol ones um, and maximum torque at zero revs. So the initial acceleration is... It's quite strong. Yes, and you don't mm. have to prepare or plan, it just goes yeah. immediately. So yeah. the performance is extraordinary in terms of the, its reaction. So 0 to 60 time, same as a Cooper S, more or less. But it, they actually feel quite a bit more rapid because you don't have to plan and change down gears or make sure the turbo's wound up or anything, yeah. they just go just foot down and away you so go these, really. these wires are all the high voltage the orange which is 400 volts so you don't touch this well you avoid <laughs> it 
we can touch the outside. Uh, they're, the, they're does all the, under do the minis cover. have the regenerative uh, oh, yes. braking on it? Very, Maybe. very strong. Yeah, very strong. So you can just do one pedal yep. driving on it. Yeah, it comes uh, one pedal as standard, and right. then there's a switch you can turn it down to more normal, like a petrol car. Right. Um, I always leave it on full regen all the time, but my wife doesn't like it, so she switches, switches it to normal. Switches it off and has the brake her, pedal back it used. Yeah, so her yeah. car, she's got a plug-in hybrid Mini. Countryman, right. the bigger one, yeah, and that has very little regen, so she's got used to that. So mm. she'd switch it off. Switch that is probably off. something that is, takes a lot of getting used to. <clears> I would now, imagine about ooh, three, four miles. Really? Just I, used to I had it, it with my it. i3. I'd only driven yeah. a test drive before, and I bought it new, collected it. This is um, seven years ago now, right. and uh, I was used to it before I'd got more than four or five miles and thinking okay. why did anybody ever want anything else yeah <clears throat> now would you ever go back to a petrol well i have got a petrol as well i've got an old austin 7 1932 oh, okay. austin 7 yeah. so that's, that's my, probably not an everyday car though, no that's that's my antidote my electric antidote right is so my austin 7. austin 7 yes yes and my wife's cause got some petrol in it for the, yeah, got the hybrid, hybrid. <clears throat> but no i wouldn't choose to no absolutely not no i don't no. think there'd be a tiny proportion of electric car owners would go back no. and once you've overcome the fear of charging remotely which is getting easier and easier all the time although there's more cars wanting to do it they're the putting worry, in chargers it? in at yeah. a massive rate and planning and so you have to treat it differently that's all you mm. just it's cannot just a different just way of thinking yes. of, of driving isn't it planning a route a little bit better yeah. than you would normally. A lot better, yeah. yes. You have yeah. to be very quite specific. Yeah. I think it would be difficult for somebody who was regularly popping from site to site or from county to county all day long working. Um, but I plan journeys on the computer the night before, send the signal uh, to the car so that the destinations, charging points if I want or final destinations. So they're, they're programmed into the car? Yes. So they come in as messages in the car, get in the car and select the one you, you want go. and off you go. Wow. So as I say, always make sure I plan and charge nice and early. I've never Great. been well, below. Thanks for showing mm. us your electric mini. Very welcome, very welcome.